believe it or not, I've been asked probably about five, six times, dead serious, if I really kick with Nose Willie from Vegas to Redlands. And obviously I tell him yes. It's weird, I just did it and I didn't even know anyone was following me. I was on the plane flying from LA to Philly and I looked down and I actually saw that happening. Right when Jeremy Ray was passed, I'm like, what the hell, dude? Who's nose manual? And this is insane. And I see it from the plane. I can't even believe he knows really that far, like from Vegas all the way to Redlands. I was going to get my digital camera, but you know, I, I would probably miss it by then because it was somewhere near that Hoover Dam, right? And like finally hit a rock, he didn't have to go back. <laughs> <laughs> We were trying to film uh, this one part where I'm skating through the rock tunnel and then you got Kenny Anderson going the other way doing the nose wheelie. And uh, yeah, when we crossed, that footage actually got lost and we didn't think it was going to make it in the video at all. And it turned up like the, you know, a day or I think the day before the premiere, that footage came back and it was just on lost reels. And when he got it, he threw it in and it was able to make it for the premiere. As we were filming that, you know, Josh is following me, filming me, and then he turns to go across the street and turn around, and he didn't, didn't even look up. He didn't notice this huge bus coming the other way. I look back, and I have a split second to jump out of the way of a bus that's going about 60 miles an hour. I don't think the bus had even seen me yet. I don't think he realized it. And he almost got killed. I think you can hear it at the end, and as he turns, you hear like a little scream, like, ah, you know, and that's this bus coming. I just made away with my life, but Travis got so nervous when he was filming it thinking I was going to get hit that he jerked the camera away and you don't even get to see what happened. And on the way home from this uh, extravaganza at the rock, I decided to uh, jump on this handrail. With no one to witness but me, Josh, and a whole track and field team. Hits the crack, jumps, perfect dive off 10 stairs straight to his shoulder. Stuck, slammed. Stretch ligaments to my shoulder, and I was done. My part done. So Kenny immediately, you know, was cut short. Uh, Kenny only got about seven months to film for his part, which is really not enough time to film for a video part. Never had that feeling, diving into the ground to head stall. Kind of remind me of uh, my old breaking days. Kenny, amazing, dude. I was like definitely anticipating Kenny's part because I've always really liked the way Kenny skated. You can do anything with a skateboard. You can throw a skateboard any which way, he'll land on it, and you're just like in awe of what he can do with his board. It's, it's ridiculous. The kid has so much talent. Did a backside tail slide. I'm like, it's like the longest backside tail slide anyone's ever done. <laughs> no one knows that you have to, the angles you have to go to get to that thing. To back tail it and to do nollie foot nose slide, that's, that's really gnarly. Summoner's part? Summoner's part was sick, but not as good as mine. Mine was like. I was so relieved for Kenny when he rolled away from that gap to back lip. That's like the sketchiest spot for that trick. Oh, Jeremy's part. That was sick. But it wasn't even close to mine. <laughs> like I just... Kinzu is, uh, it's something I like to drop, really. I mean, I've heard something about some hammer, or some people dropping hammers, or, um, I drop Ginzus. My Ginzus replace hammers, which I ended up dropping some plastic butter knives instead, but, you know, that's how it works. <laughs> My wife called me an idiot just now. Kenny's just Kenny, dude. No ego, just smooth, stylish. That's it. 
promised I promised myself I wouldn't cry. <laughs> 